Hey everybody, this is Paul, and let's do about a three week update on George Emmerich Jr.'s plants. You can see we got a flower bud there, and we ended up getting 49 of them. One was an epiphyllum. I'll show you that at the end. And many are bouncing back already. So I have some that I think are whites or pinks or hybrids here, and they're getting quite a bit of shade. And you saw that flower bud, it's happy. And then in addition, these are the ones that I needed to cut out the rot on the stem so they get a bit more shade. And these ones are probably the ones that need the most attention. I'm just keeping them, keeping an eye on them, making sure nothing happens, and they're doing great so far. I think these are Pohyloceres polyrhizus, but they're a bit more sensitive than Orahona. So this one, for example, looks a lot like Orahona to me, but it definitely can't take the sun as much as Orahona. And there are some slight differences, so I'm excited to see what kind of DNA Mr. Amish Jr. had. All right, let me show you some more. So lovely epiphytic roots. Lots of them are shooting out of this plant. So that's a great sign. But I do not see any flower buds on this large plant yet. Now in addition, there are several more cuttings of George's. Here's four more. And these seem to be a bit more sensitive to our climate. So I give them about shade until about one o'clock, two o'clock, and then they get the afternoon sunlight. And they seem to be doing fine with lots of plumping up and some new growth, so that's great. So another little flower bud, look at that. And here's two more Hilo series polyrhizus, I'd guess. And they're quite large, but they are still, they still got a little bit of sun damage more than I thought. So they're getting some shade in the morning. I think that's been most beneficial for these plants. Now, in addition, here's some more. And they're all just bouncing back, starting to look a lot more green, a lot more healthy, and some new growth, as you can see here. See it? That's a very interesting one. All right, believe it or not, there are some more of George's cutting. Let me go show them to you. Here are some more. And this one was the first one to shoot some new growth here see it it's very interesting and healthy a little bit scaly on the top which I find very interesting so you can see George Emmerich Jr. number 49 is definitely not dragon fruit it's an epiphyllum two-sided so I'm excited to see what color flower this is it's definitely unique looking and it's already bouncing back in addition, I had some very, very long cuttings, and you can see here that this one I had no other choice but to kind of put it over these rocks and through this king palm, and we'll see how it does. Now look at the stem here. Let's see if I can get close. There we go. Definitely a very unique looking dragon fruit plant and definitely cannot be vertical on a trellis. So this one is just gonna crawl. It's born to crawl. So here's a few more under my Vivax bamboo. And I figured this would be a really easy way to let them grow and to assess them. So you can see here's some new growth on this one, which is great. But they just get a part sun. They lean up on the bamboo here, which is pretty sturdy. And they have a dripper. So I can just sort of leave them here and give them some time. And we'll see, hopefully we'll get some more flowers in the future this season. So you can start tasting some of George Emmerich Jr.'s amazing plants. All right, that's the three week update. We'll give you some more soon. All right, thanks for watching.